Okay, so here is the lawnmower. Oh, it's a power crap. Power crap. And what has happened is, you can see on this wheel here a little bit, basically the wheels, they fall apart. There's actually an inner sleeve. It's a metal sleeve. There's the metal sleeve right there. And you can see, well, it's likely that the person who was mowing the lawn last time or whatever, he used to have this lawnmower, picked this up at the junkyard for like 20 bucks. Um, but basically, there's no rust on the deck. It's got a good motor. Um, you want to pull on it. If you ever get a used lawnmower, you want to pull on the starter cord to make sure it's got good compression and it doesn't make any knocks. Now, if you have starter fluid, you could bring a little starter fluid and spray it in there and see, it, see what it does. If it acts like it wants to run, then it might be a good deal. Anyway, uh, so this is what happened on these. The end of that steel sleeve right here broke off. And then what it does, it just flops around on here really loose and it's not, it's not very easy to push. And so what I've done is, I've got some JB Weld here. And these nuts were really hard to get off, these axle nuts. So what I had to do is I had to sort of grind off one at one edge so I could grab it uh, with the wrench. And then I sprayed it with like uh, WD-40 to loosen it up. And what I'm eventually going to do, see it didn't have any big washers here. I'm going to go get uh, like a big washer like this one, a little bit bigger than this one. And, and then put it on the end of the shaft so that that, that big washer is going to be flat up against here. So it's not just... Uh, the stress of the axle uh, on this on this part of the uh, part of the wheel, and so basically I got the industrial JB weld here. This is the cold weld professional pack, and so what I did, like on this one, you can see now this battery actually fits in there almost like perfect. Okay, that one was a little bit tighter, but basically. What I did is I took a little bit of grease and I greased the outside of the battery so that it doesn't stick on when I JB welded in. And so that's what I've done with this one. Basically, I'm building up this part here that's been broken off with the JB weld. And then once again, I'll put a big fat washer here on this end so it's not directly pushing up here. And make sure that's all lubed up real good. Okay, the skeeters are out tonight and uh, they've already uh, put a dampener in my problems. God, <laughs> not that I, <laughs> not that I hate skeeters. Uh, somebody actually told me that if a skeeter bites you, then ah, it's taking your karma away. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, uh, bad Bill Gates would love to hear that, wouldn't he? Uh, so anyway, uh, yeah. So that's how I'm going to fix these wheels. Now these wheels, I looked on these, I uh, looked uh, on eBay. These wheels were about. Uh, they're about five to seven bucks a piece. Not these particular ones, not with a steel sleeve in the center, but very similar ones. I probably could have popped in uh, temporarily. Uh, this mower most uh, likely takes a lot of stress on this back, um, on this back wheel. And probably the person who was using it didn't know how to turn the wheel or maybe they had a lot of turns in their uh, lawn and then finally tweaked these things. But once I put that washer, that bigger washer, I'm going to have to get a bigger washer than this. Once I put that there and it's on the shaft, then uh, it should be fine. Okay, there's both of them right there. Now, what I can do is I can sand that so that when we put the washer on, it'll be flatter. This one here, I might put another coat on. Well, yeah, that's, uh, that's how that thing's going to go. And make sure this has got lots of grease on it. And I might do the front ones too. These these bolts are really hard to get off. Okay, thanks for watching. Don't try this at home. And uh, so uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you need any help, I give phone advice for twenty five dollars seven zero seven four four three eight three four seven Pacific time. Thanks again.